This year marks Omega's 75th anniversary of the Seamaster lineup, and they had me hooked from the beginning. From the promotional images they had of the Aegean and Greece, and I, I couldn't wrap my head around what they were trying to release. So finally, we have it, and it's the Summer Blue Collection for the Seamaster. Now, Summer Blue is not just one color, but it's actually five different colors, and that's depending on the depth rating of the Seamaster that you're choosing, starting with the light blue of the Aquaterra line, going all the way down to the ultra deep with that rich navy blue. And not only do the dials get darker the deeper you go, but also the rubber straps. So the Aquaterra features a light blue rubber strap, and the Ploprof features a dark blue rubber strap. It looks spectacular. I'm a big fan of the Ploprof, spoiler alert, it's my favorite release of this summer collection. Now the indices are also dyed with this blue color, so they're not this bright crisp white anymore. Um, and it's kind of hit or miss depending on which watch. Some watches actually look pretty good, other watches are kind of a pass. We'll get into that momentarily. And to top it all off, each watch comes with its own custom case back featuring Poseidon, two hippocampi, and the Omega symbol with the words, Seamaster since 1984. Now, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button and that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out. All right, let's get into it with the Aquaterra lineup. First up, the 38 millimeter Aquaterra, and I'm just not a big fan of this watch. It's just something about those rounded indices, that circular date window at the six o'clock. I just do not like the aesthetics of that dial at all. But the 41 millimeter Aquaterra, I think is just executed perfectly. It comes on stainless steel or on the rubber strap. So it's going to fit your summer needs just fine. The dial with that teak board pattern just looks beautiful. Those shark tooth indices with just that very light blue tint to the loom looks phenomenal. I just love the way this watch dial looks. And obviously the case back is very well executed. Now moving on to the Aquaterra World Time, I think this is the best dial variation uh, that I've seen. I like that light blue gradient going into the planet that they have at the center of the dial. I think this is a much better release than the green dial variation uh, they released a few weeks ago. This is a much better setup. And also this does come with that rubber strap option as well. So as we go deeper down to the 300 meter depth, we're gonna take a look at the Omega Seamaster Professional 300M, and mm, I really wanted to like this one because I am a big fan of the Seamaster 300 Professional. I just couldn't get behind this. I think it just has to do with the contrast between the indices themselves and that dial. I just don't like how much it blends together. I want a crisp white to bounce off that blue, and here they've just tinted it a little too dark for my liking and it just doesn't offer that contrast that I would prefer. Obviously, I'm a big fan of the Seamaster Professional, but in this dial variation, I think it's a little bit lackluster. And the same problem can be found in the Seamaster 300 where there's just not enough contrast between the hands and indices with that dial. I think they tinted the indices a bit too dark and if this is gonna be your introduction to the Omega brand, I don't think that this color variation with the indices being tinted is going to be an everyday piece. It's gonna be more of a fun piece. And I don't know if that's what Omega wanted, but if I were buying an Omega Seamaster for the first time, it wouldn't be this just because that contrast is just not there between the hands and indices. It's gonna be difficult to read the time most of the times, at least according to the renders that they've presented. I haven't seen these watches in person yet, so obviously take that with a grain of salt. I just don't think there's enough contrast between the dial and the hands for me to easily read the time at a glance. But as we move deeper to that 600 meter rating, we come up to the planet ocean. And here's where it changes, because that blue tint on the indices, I believe remains the same, but it's on a deeper colored dial. So the, you do get that contrast, especially at the tips of the hands, to make it more legible, more easy to read. I think the Planet Ocean is only releasing in the 39.5 millimeter option. Just a little fair warning for you guys there. And it makes sense because it's going to fit the widest range of wrists out there, especially with this smaller watch trend carrying on. Now, when I first bought my Seamaster, I was between the Professional and the Planet Ocean. And it was a toss up in my mind. I decided to go with the Professional. If I was looking at these two watches, 
and this color variation, I would definitely go with the planet ocean. Now diving even deeper to 1200 meters is the Omega Ploprof, my favorite release of this summer blue collection. And I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now they have done the Ploprof in a few different materials, starting off with 316 stainless steel, moving on to titanium, and now we are featuring it in Omega Steel. Now Omega Steel uses pressure electro slag remelting, which basically removes all the impurities in the steel. Omega can then use that purified steel to finish it to a superb level. So the Ploprof body is made out of one solid piece of this Omega steel, and it doesn't feature a case bag, so everything is just laser engraved on the back. Now, I wish they would have included a shark mesh strap option, not just the rubber, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. We have a new Ploprof. I am excited. And moving down to that 6,000 meter mark, we have the Ultra Deep, and this is probably my favorite color variation of the Ultra Deep itself. I really like that color grade from that deep blue all the way to the black on the outside and those lighter blue indice marks. I think that contrast works very well once again, like it did with the Ploprof. It also has a cool Easter egg on the dial. If you shine a UV light over it, you can see Omega was here on the dial. I think it's a cool little Easter egg. It's kind of a flex. And it's not always in your face all the time. It's only at night. I think it's a very subtle Easter egg that is executed very well. Uh, the Ultra Deep is a watch that I've tried on on the rubber. It's, even for me, a bit too large. I do want to try it on a metal bracelet, though, because I think it will balance the watch head out a little bit better than it does on the rubber strap. But anyways, that is the 75th anniversary of the Omega Seamaster lineup. I wish I was going to Mykonos. Omega, you have a Greek watch reviewer right here. Send him to Mykonos, please. So please, in the comment section down below, leave me your top three summer blue variations of the Seamaster. Mine are the Plo Prof, the Aqua Terra 41, and the Planet Ocean. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and that subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram as well. All the links are in the description box down below. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button right here, and don't forget to check out my Omega Seamaster professional review right here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.